Congressman John Lewis dedicated his life to civil rights and nonviolent activism. Your voice is your vote. Lewis was a trusted friend of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. As one of the original Freedom Riders, he suffered severe beatings while challenging segregation laws. When the Civil Rights Act of 1964 met resistance in the South, Lewis and Hosea Williams led hundreds of black voters on a 54-mile march from Selma to Montgomery, Alabama. When we were marching across that bridge, just simple saying people wanted to register to vote wanted to participate in the democratic process. The marchers got as far as the foot of the Edmund Pettus Bridge. Turn around and disperse. And they came toward us, beating us with knife sticks, using tear gas and tramping us with horses. That day went down in history as Bloody Sunday. Two weeks later, Lewis and hundreds more, including Dr. King, completed the march to Montgomery. Lewis was born near Troy, Alabama in 1940. He attended American Baptist Theological Seminary and later graduated from Fisk University in Nashville with degrees in religion and philosophy. He was elected chairman of the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee in 1963. I wanted to make a contribution. I didn't like the sign that said white only, colored only. At 23, Lewis was the youngest speaker at the March on Washington where Dr. King delivered his I Have a Dream speech. His passion for people and racial reconciliation brought him to the halls of Congress. I'm John Lewis, running for Congress. Lewis won Georgia's 5th District Congressional seat in 1986. Yes, I'm proud to be a liberal Democrat. I stand with the people. He received numerous awards throughout his life, including the Presidential Medal of Freedom, Congressman Lewis and President Barack Obama led thousands across the Edmund Pettus Bridge to commemorate the 50th anniversary of Bloody Sunday in 2015. But he clashed with President Obama's successor, boycotting President Donald Trump's inauguration. And on the 50th anniversary of Martin Luther King Jr.'s assassination, Lewis asked Americans to step up. When you see something that is not right, something that is not fair, something that is not just, you have a moral obligation to say something, to do something. A principle he lived by, earning his reputation as the conscience of the U.S. Congress. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Washington.